Hey everyone, in case you're interested in learning how to walk in a swimsuit or fitness competition, this video is for you. I'm here with my gorgeous friend Erica Hi. Dan. Hi. We're here in San Francisco. She is representing the city in the Miss USA pageant coming up. So I've decided to work with her and share some of my knowledge, my advice. If you're interested in learning how to really strut your stuff on stage to impress the judges, keep watching. So Erica, the first thing about being on stage in a swimsuit is that you have to exude confidence. Yeah. And we'll start from the head down, okay? Um, first of all, your head, a lot of people, when they try to be tall, they look up. But when you look up, you actually end up not really having a flattering angle for your mm. face. Yeah. So the first thing is to keep your chin down, okay? The next thing is when you um, take a deep inhale, see how that naturally lifts your carriage? Mm -hmm. So exhale and keep that same positioning. So you want that uplifted, up, exactly that uplifted mm -hmm. sort of look. Um, another thing is this area of your body, you really want to exude forward and up and out. Imagine that you're wearing a huge rhinestone necklace that's got maybe I will. 32 <laughs> layers, Mickey yes, Moto pearls, yes. right? You really want this necklace to be shown mm -hmm. off at all times. So you're wearing this invisible necklace at all times. So given that, right, your chin is down, you have the uplifted presence. Let's move down to the ribs now. It's a newbie mistake to stick out your ribs. I'm gonna go and be yeah. risque here, but <laughs> see how people like, right? See yeah. how my ribs are stuck out? Yes. We don't, sometimes people think that by sticking out their ribs, it makes their, their waist look smaller. Or they look like skinnier. Or they look skinnier, yeah. right? But That's you, no, 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 you wanna close these ribs. You want to close these ribs, okay? So see, we're building now. We've built yeah. on lowering your chat, lowering your chin, expanding your décolletage, mm -hmm. but also keeping your ribs in. Yeah. It's very important. Very important. Absolutely. Okay. Now let's talk about shoulders really quickly. If we turn this way, you'll see that your shoulders should be up and actually back. Yeah. If I were to relax. This is really what I look like, mm -hmm. if I were to relax. Right. But on stage, you have to really expand everything, and it needs to be almost up and slightly back. Yep. And, and, and the reason why it works to be slightly arched back from here and here is because overall with your body, your, your butt is going to create that S shape. So it'll, yes. it'll actually end up quite proportional, yes. right? So let's move down. The, sh the ribs are in. Now for the tush, I always had an issue with not having a big butt. Yeah. So I had a trainer teach me that if you just, if you stay, if you go from neutral and then tilt your pelvis forward, it gives you an instant booty, Yeah. right? So at this point, you don't want to tilt so far forward that your stomach is out. Right, right. And then that lets your ribs go. Yeah. You have to keep your ribs closed. Keep your ribs closed, yeah. but also tuck that back a little bit. I feel that, okay? yeah. Okay, cool, so there's a, lot, there's a lot to remember. I talked about the chin, I talked about the decolletage, I talked about closing the ribs, we talked about having the shoulders back, we talked about tilting the pelvis now, yeah. right? That's a lot to think about. Yes. I'm gonna keep adding I'm and like, piling hey. on. I know, but this is really, this is how it goes, yeah. right? Yes. I, those who have a dance background oftentimes do well in swimsuit yes. because they have body control like this. Right, right. Um, but just because you're not a dancer doesn't mean you can't get it, yes. which is why we're working together. Um, so we talked about everything from chin, shoulders, decolletage, ribs in, waist, waist kind of pretty much naturally sucked in. Yeah. This is pretty self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure everyone kind of by default sucks yep, in, in, in a swimsuit. Your, your pelvis is tilted back to give you a little bit of that shape. And then every time you take a step, mm -hmm. you're stepping on a straight knee. Yeah. Even a hyperextended knee, if you have a hyperextended leg, you want it to be straight. There's no, no T-Rex stomping here, yeah. okay? You want to step on a straight knee. When you're posing in swimsuit, mm -hmm. okay? When you're posing in swimsuit, all of your muscles should be engaged. Yep. They should be engaged because you've worked so hard to have this tone. Yeah. So wh when you hit that pose, your knees should be lifted, yes. right? If both legs are straight, both knees should be lifted. Yep. If I'm relaxed, you can really see they're kind of wobbly, right? right? right. They're kind of wobbly. Yeah. Like feel my feel my knee, my knee right here, right? This is relaxed, yeah. and then this is straight, totally. right? Yep. So you want to really straighten everything. Of course, you're not going to flex a bent leg. Like I'm not flexing my right leg right now, right. but I'm flexing my left one, yeah. yeah? Okay, and then now we've gone from head to toe. We're going to talk about our toes here. Okay, perfect. So when you're walking in heels, it's really all about having your weight in the balls of your feet. That is the, the secret about walking in heels, okay. is you're really just walking on the balls of your feet most of the time. Yep. The heel is just to stabilize. Yep. 
So your weight is really on the ball. Yeah. It's forward. It's constantly forward. So do you have any questions so far? Good. You think we got it? Let's review as we go. Okay, let's no, review as we go. This is good. I'm ready. So the key really is all of this, right. right? There's a lot of confidence coming out this way. Lower your chin, though. See that natural S curve? Mm -hmm. See, do you see how it's starting to really arch? Yeah. I have a bit of a half moon, yeah. right, from my shoulders and my tush. Yeah. And that's okay because it, it just gives me more shape. Yeah. And then when I'm on stage, I'm exuding that confidence, okay? Yeah. I forgot the most important thing, which is smile, exactly. So your face is so very important and you have a gorgeous smile. So at every single moment that you're on stage, yeah. that smile is, is the cherry on top of yes. the sundae. Yes. There we go. And it shows excitement. It shows like you're enjoying it. You're having yep. fun. You're yep, not yep, just yep. like on stage, like if you're in headlights. Exactly, exactly. So whenever you do a pivot, mm -hmm. Whenever you're turning for the judges to see 360 of your body, just remember that your head really needs to stay looking at the judges. Yeah. So let me give you an example. We'll pose yes. this way, okay? So when we turn, see how I'm leaving my head? Mm -hmm. And then when I, when I do a turn back, my head seeks the audience again. Yes, so I'm spotting the way yeah. dancers do. And dancers do this so that they don't, so that they don't get dizzy. Right. And it actually makes your head operate from an independent place. Yes. It makes you look coordinated. Yes. Right? So if you're turning, see how I leave my head? Boom, find my head. Yep. You want to try it? Yeah. Yep. There we go. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. Yeah. Want to try the other side? This way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Head back. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's High five. Like you, you bring it around. Mm -hmm. kind of whip yourself you whip yourself bit. around. You whip yourself around. But remember what I said about being like having your weight in the balls of your feet, yes. right? That will allow you to maintain full control at all times. Yeah, just having your weight on the balls of your feet. Yeah. So let's talk quickly about what your head looks like and yes. what your carriage looks like when you're doing a turn. Okay. okay. So, do you see how I actually leave my shoulder open? Yeah. See what I'm doing here? Yeah. Right. This feels very, feels very like. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Feels very like ta-da, yes. but that's because you want to present yourself. You have to really open this shoulder, right? Open the shoulder mm -hmm. so that when you turn, everything, remember, it all starts yep. with the rhinestone Mikimoto necklace. Right. Yeah, yeah. So same thing with the other side, right? When you turn this way, right? you open. Exactly. You want to open this shoulder, turn, and then pose. Good job, good job. Now that we've discussed body positioning mm -hmm. statically, let's talk about walking. Perfect. Um, everything that I mentioned, you have to maintain and keep while you're walking. Except now we're throwing in some hips Perfect. and steps and movement into the equation. Just okay? to keep it complicated. Just to keep it complicated. <laughs> just to toes. make, just to keep us on our toes. Literally. <gasps> so the thing about walking, mm -hmm. you don't want to bounce. Okay. That's the first thing, right? Sometimes a little bit. A little bit of energy is great, yeah. but too much perkiness, and it's, it doesn't look smooth. Yeah. If you look at the professionals, right, the, the Miss Universes, all of the, the seasoned pageant veterans, yes. the winners, like they have this gliding sensation. It's a glide, it's a glide, it but, a glide. But, but it's also got some sassiness to mm -hmm. it. So there's a need, there needs to be a little bit of spice, yes. a little bit yes. of pep. So that really comes in the form of hips. Okay. And the other important thing is, in addition to hips, it's also making sure that you step on an extended Okay. Okay. If you step on a leg that's not extended, you look like like this. Yes. Right? And that's just not cute. That's not, fun. That's not, not cute. Really this is basically Vegas at 4 a.m. and I yeah. wore the wrong heels. Okay? And that's not the look we're going for. We want like smooth, we yes. want tsunami, we want yes. <sighs> movement, flow. Victoria's Secret. Love, love, love. Exactly, exactly. So um, let's talk quickly about hips. Let's okay. go back to hips. Let's sit into each hip. And really, this is almost like a warm-up. I would yeah, really encourage stretch. every contestant before walking in swimsuit to just stretch your glutes here because this flexibility and this range of motion is what's going to result in that hip swaying when you're walking, okay? All right, so let's walk together. Remember, extended knee, hips to the side, okay? And weight on the balls of your feet as much as possible, okay? All right. Nice. Great. All right. How'd that feel? Felt good. 
felt good, felt good. All right, let's turn around and do the same thing. We'll do posing in a second. And then walk back. All right. Erica, you won your very first pageant. Yes. So first time. That is incredible, I and know. that's so encouraging for anyone out there who's watching who just is not a pageant veteran. Yep. You can absolutely do it. It just takes some hard work, some diligence, some resourcefulness. Yes, exactly. And if you're watching this video, you clearly are resourceful. Perfect. So, <laughs> so we talked about your static body positioning. Right. We've talked about walking, mm -hmm. and now all that's left is posing. That's right. We're gonna be posers, y'all. <laughs> Learn some posing with us. So you're starting off with the pose on stage. On swimsuit, I love anything that really accentuates strong muscles. Anything that has both legs straightened, I'm a big fan of, yes. okay? All right, let's walk to the very front. All right, extra hip, stop, and then let's hit a pose. Yep, this is definitely like the go-to one. I see, Erica, yes. you take to this one really easily. I do, I like naturally. Yes. One thing I notice is your leg is tilted like this, which is also fine because yeah. it makes the leg look really long. Yeah. This elongates that line. The other alternative is some women like to have their entire leg open because it's a little bit more stable for them because the heel is on the ground, oh. right? So this is, this is, I know it's subtle, but this is one variation. This is what, it, this is Erica, I call this Erica's pose. Erica's pose? This is Erica's pose. The Erica. The Erica, and then this is what we often see on stage as well. It, okay? is, it is definitely more stable. Yep. So that's a good point. For sure, for sure. So this is one classic pose. Another pose you can do is what I like to call, like, I'm going to call this the Betty because this is I like something it. that a person oh, named Betty would do. <laughs> right? We know, we know a Betty this. who would do this. <laughs> and this is the it's sort of like a pinup old Hollywood, right? It shows the S curve of a natural woman's silhouette. Yeah. Um, I'm going to lift up my shirt here so you can see that when you move your upper torso in opposition to your hips here, it actually makes your muscles and your obliques stand out. So nice. If you're gonna do this, it, it's subtle, but all you have to do is just whoop. Exactly, let's try the other side here, Difference. right? So this is just like the normal blah, vertical. Right and then remember, your hip is, your pelvis is, is pushed out, right? right? Push out. All the same right. stuff from yep. section one that we discussed earlier applies. Yep. Shoulders out, ribs in, suck in the stomach, pelvis tilted forward. So there's already a natural S right. so that people who are looking from the wings will see that shape we'll too. That. Yep. Shoulder, back. shoulder back, you got chin this, down. chin down, all of that stuff. Weight in the balls of your feet. So when you do this pose, all that, all the same things to remember apply, but then you're also going to shift your upper body over. This just makes your muscles really stand out a bit. Really, I, like, I feel you feel it, right? The it feels a little like Janet Jackson. Like yeah. <laughs> J-Lo. J-Lo, J-Lo, J-Lo. It's that same thing. The, the, Love. And you can do any hand, exactly. So now another pose, we talked about this, mm -hmm. is the one, I call this the, the Kirsten Haglin, because at Miss America 2008, she did this, and she looked great. She kind of has her hand on her hips like a Wonder Woman. Yeah. And then she opens her leg out. Exactly. And I'm gonna like go ahead and press my, my sort of free foot into the ground. Yeah. And this almost activates all of this muscle I here. Do you feel that? Yep. Yeah. Tense you just like tense up those muscles and you do a little bit of the, yeah. right? And anything that really engages your stomach and makes it like go sideways right. makes the obliques come out and play. Try the yes. other side, try the other side. Exactly. Very, very good. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So those are kind of like the three main poses, Love. right? This is the, the Erica, okay? The Erica with the open leg, okay? Open hands, the Betty, right? You can do it either obliques, remember everything shifted to the side, and then the Kirsten Hagelin, right? These are like really solid, tried and true poses. Power poses. Power poses. Power poses. And it also bears noting that anyone who if you don't want to do a pose, mm -hmm. you can also just literally just do the, the classic T stance. Yeah. Right? A lot of Asian pageants do this. Oh, really? If you look at Miss Hong Kong or Miss Miss Korea, there's not really that much like open there isn't so much it's, just more about, like, it's literally just a bunch of women standing on stage in this T stance. Yeah. Both legs wow. locked in. Okay? So that's fine too. It's Styles. whatever you're comfortable Styles, with. Yeah, it's a different exactly. style, a different aesthetic. Yep. Okay, so given what you know about these poses, yeah. let us head back, Love do it. a walk, and then um, let's just, and then make sure to do a turn. When you do a turn, the weight should always be at the balls of your feet. Okay. And don't forget to leave the head. Leave the head and open the shoulder. Leave the head and open the shoulder. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. Do we cool. All right. Ready? Cool. There we go. You're getting the hang of it. So the the proper so the proper way to do it, if I were to hit here first, this is what I do. I go here. I would actually switch my hip back this way and then walk. Yeah, that's what I would do. But like you just do whatever feels natural for you. Yeah, because then it then it has some movement, right? Like you're walking, you're walking, you're like, bam, second pose. See that? Because it's like two different unique looks, rather than here and then walk. Or you can walk too. Right here, and then walk. Yeah. Don't forget, like, there's this, there's hips. the hips. Yeah. The hips need to go, and there still can be a little bit more openness yeah, here. I, I yeah. Great. Right. Present yourself more when you're walking. Yeah, just a little bit, a little bit. Not like, not like this, no, yeah. but just a little bit, but a little bit of like a little bit of opening. Open Nice. That was good. That was really good. Nice. <laughs> so just another thing is when yeah. you pose, if just um, I'm still seeing a little bit of uneasiness, right? Like from here to here. Like there's just this. So I, I wonder if it might help you to just have a bigger bigger step, right? So when yeah. you go from here, just is like to have a, to open your legs bigger. Yeah. Right. Because this is going to be more stable than this. So like just make it a bigger step. Make it a, yeah, like widen your legs a little bit more, okay? Right? Is this is this still a little uncomfortable for you, or is it is it is it more stable if your legs are open more? It's like fourth position, right? Erica, great job. Thank you, best teacher. Well, what have you really learned from today? I would say posture, remembering all the little things that actually actually make a huge difference that when you're on stage. Accumulate exactly. Mm -hmm. Chin. Shoulders open and back, ribs in, ribs in. All of those things really add up and allow you to look very poised and confident while you walk. Polish is the accumulation of a lot of little details, yes, exactly. and practicing that and making that muscle memory. Yep, yeah. exactly. Well, congratulations too. How often does someone win on their very first try, right? Well, but it's true. It's exactly, <laughs> it's true. If you're watching out there and you are discouraged that oh, I'm so new at this, I don't know if I have what it takes. Well, you do. Erica is living proof. You can win on your first try. Just be resourceful. Yes. Yeah. And you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. This whole channel is designed to basically be a place where I can create content and be the coach that I wish I had. Keep subscribing for future content. This is all meant to be free. We're just honestly sharing yes. what's between our ears. Exactly. So be confident. Be courageous. I'm Crystal. I'm Erica. And we'll see you next video.